What's up guys, Miles here with 9to5Mac, and if you're a fan of good ideas, consider subscribing to the channel for future content like this. Today we're going to be taking another look at GeForce Now. As NVIDIA is known to do, they've released an update to GeForce Now that includes some awesome new features that Mac users, and specifically M1 Mac users, should get a kick out of. So today we're going to be taking a look at that, but not before giving a big thanks to NVIDIA for sponsoring 9to5Mac on YouTube. <laughs> In case you're unaware, GeForce Now is a subscription service for NVIDIA that allows you to stream high quality games in full HD at 60 FPS or higher. And you can pretty much access this service from any mobile device. Of course, it's available to get for PC and Android devices, but it's available on Mac, iPad, and even iPhone. So more or less anyone can get access to this if they need. But as far as this new update is concerned, M1 Mac users in particular are gonna see the most benefits. The newest GeForce Now 2.0.40 update enables the GeForce Now Mac OS app to fully support Apple M1 and all of the Macs running on it. This is a pretty big deal for overall performance with the application on Apple Silicon Macs. The M1 Macs are all about high performance with low power consumption. And this update is all about taking advantage of that. With the 2.0.40 update, you can expect noticeably lower power consumption, faster app startup times than ever before, and an overall elevated GeForce Now experience. But there's some more additional features to improve the overall experience for everyone. Now members can more easily discover new games to play on GeForce Now within the new genre row at the bottom of the main games menu. And there's useful sorting options that include the ability to see all the games within GeForce Now that are available in specific regions and by device type. So you can fine tune your search in the exact way you want to find the best game to play based on your mood at the time. And NVIDIA's improved the streaming stats overlay for GeForce Now as well. This allows you to get a much better view of your rendering frame rate while streaming. Lost Ark is a new MMO game that takes perfect advantage of GeForce Now. With an M1 MacBook Pro, you can stream Lost Ark at 1600p or in an iMac at up to 1440p at 60fps. And one of the best aspects of this membership and GeForce Now is the freedom to customize your gaming experience with each individual game. With each game, you can go in and tweak your individual graphic settings to really refine the experience for whatever game you're playing. This is just one of the many ways GeForce Now brings that PC gaming experience to Mac users. GeForce Now is free to join, but you can upgrade your membership for faster access to the GeForce Now cloud servers, get extended gameplay sessions, and gain certain RTX graphics features like ray tracing and DLSS, which is awesome to be able to access those features without needing a massive PC gaming rig to power it all. If you're interested in checking out GeForce Now, be sure to click the first link in the description down below and if you want more timely updates on GeForce Now you can check out GFN Thursday which is a weekly celebration of new games and features. Thanks to NVIDIA for sponsoring 9to5Mac on YouTube and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.